Radio. We're going to now go into last week in the metaverse in our first article examines Romania plunging into the Web3 with its national NFT marketplace. So Romania's Informatics Institute is set to launch its institutional NFT trading platform using Web3 to create a link between the public and private sectors. This platform, dubbed ICID Services, goes live on April 26 and aims to create a link between private and public sectors. The platform is primary, primarily an NFT marketplace line both public and institutional users to mint, manage, and trade NFTs. So I think it's really cool that you are seeing countries embrace marketplaces and embrace NFTs. And I think you're going to, we're seeing more and more countries do this this year. I think this will be a trend that we see as more companies embrace and find ways to get their, get access to their citizens faster. Next, we look at C Shrine as it forms a partnership with MSafe. So C Shrine is an exclu- entered an exclusive partnership with MSafe, a multi-sign and non-custodial digital management application built on Move. Serves as a community of Aptos by providing a secure decentralized wallet as a service. A unique mythical dragon NFT, which has been hidden utility in Fury of Seas, the gamified DAO exposure of C Shrine, is being provided to recognize this specific partnership. So more and more collaborative partnerships are happening between ecosystems um, and utilizing things like wallets um, and, and some other uh, layer ones uh, partnering up and, and utilizing NFTs to represent different things within a DAO. I just love how there's so many different components being utilized to fully embrace and bring the entire like web three web together. And more and more of this is materializing and i think more of these partnerships will continue we're going to continue to report on these into the future next we're looking at marvel studios as its founder debuts eco's genesis art collection so the founding chairman of marvel studios david masel has established mythos studios the entertainment company focusing on intellectual property recently unveiled its eco's genesis art collection viewable via virtual gallery at eco's auctioning on may 2nd so it, when you look at Marvel Studios, it's well known for all of its Marvel movies, uh, and they are finding talent to come and build in Web3. And so what better place than to go and get the founding chairman of Marvel Studios uh, to come and create some Genesis art? Um, I think this is cool. I think it's going to be really, really awesome. I think that they have a lot of things in their lineup that will debut and will probably have a lot of success. And so this is a project uh, worth keeping on your radar. Chainlink introduces NFT lending and renting in blockchain gaming. Chainlink introduced this NFT lending and renting, which will enable NFT owners to earn income on their NFTs and provide a more affordable way for individuals to access specific perks and utilities that come to owning an NFT. Chainlink has been hard at work with uh, creating a lot of more utilities for the ecosystem and, and been focusing on the NFT realm of their ecosystem. So they're ensuring that NFT's potential extends far beyond mere ownership and investment. And the way that they're doing that is by adding a DeFi component to the NFTs, uh, which is allowing for lending and renting. I think this is a really good step, a big step for Chainlink. Uh, Chainlink is really trying to leave its mark in the NFT space and, and invite more people to come and, and build. And I think utilizing DeFi protocols on its platform is a really cool way to do that through NFTs. Um, <clears throat> this is allowing less friction for people to come in and have access to these NFTs and to potentially monetize in unique ways that otherwise aren't usually available to people. So. Chainlink, I see you, and um, I know that I'm going to be looking out for this as uh, this marketplace comes out uh, to provide these things because I think people are going to utilize this. And I'm eager to see how the lending and renting for their um, blockchain gaming uh, works out for them. Next, we're looking at Solana as its NFTs come up to portfolio app floor amid MATLAB's boom. Um, 
Flora is a mobile NFT portfolio tracking app and expanded beyond the Ethereum ecosystem and support Solana NFTs um, recently. And the timing um, uh, is great as Solana's uh, business NFT drops. Uh, Mad Labs uh, just recently came out. And projects like uh, Clenosaurus, Solana Monkey Business, and OK Bears cannot be tracked within a mobile app in iOS and on Android. So there are several people that are deep into the NFT space that are constantly tracking uh, pricing and uh, how whales are moving from wallet to wallet, et cetera. And this looks like a cool app that um, includes the Solana ecosystem to watch some of those different collections. So um, sounds like a cool app. I'll probably give it a download and, and, and see how it works out. So um, I will be watching this one. Next up, we're going to be looking at Pudgy Penguins to appear at the Las Vegas Licensing Expo. Um, which is from June 13th through June 15th. Pudgy Penguins are going to Las Vegas um, to represent Web3 IP technology via their booth activation. It's going to have the team a chance to showcase what they built while enabling them to construct a network with brands and retailers worldwide for partnerships. I think this is really smart. The more that Web3 can kind of bridge into Web2, create a 2.5 bridge and get these larger brands seeing and embracing uh, and experiencing what Web3 has to offer and how they can create these NFT ecosystems and get some of these Web2 marketing minds to really start to see the full potential that NFTs offer. And Budgie Penguins is out here saying, hey, we'll we'll do it. So um, if you're going to be out in Vegas in June, uh, make sure you go check them out at uh, their expo. And um, Budgie Penguins continue to pave the way out here in, in NFT land. Finally, we're going to go look at... Our final article, which is Board at Yacht Club, as it celebrates its two year um, of NFTs. So the Ethereum based NFT completed two years in the market and still remains the biggest collection by market capitalization. Uh, it's 10,000 unique ape avatars launched in April 2021 and sold out within hours, generating millions of dollars of revenue. The mint price was 0 0.08. That is correct. The mint price was 0 0.08 which is absolutely remarkable. Um, uh, the current, for, for those who are listening right now, the current board yacht club uh, floor is 50.91 ETH. So pretty good ROI um, had you got in at the very beginning, um, but it's also becoming very, uh, getting notoriety for getting a lot of pop culture people in it. People like Snoop Dogg and um, <clears throat> Eminem and several others um, have begun to, get apes and embrace them and they've ecosystems have grown from uh, mutant apes to other sites and so much more in their roadmap so quick two-year shout out to the board apes they have a lot more to come and i think they probably will continue to be at the head of the nft landscape for a while as they continue to bring in top tier executive talent from web two to bring to to fully actualize the vision that they have set place in the roadmap that they have. And again, they have some really cool stuff coming in the pipeline. So happy two year anniversary to the board apes. So that's going to wrap up this week's aftershock short and sweets, so get to the point and hope you enjoyed all the content. Um, if there's an article that you really liked, make sure to leave us a comment, let us know um, how we can go get some other info that you have learned about so that we can share it with others. And um, thank you as always for coming and joining us over here at CryptoCurrent. So as always, I hope you all stay CryptoCurrent. Thank you for joining us for another episode of CryptoCurrent. CryptoCurrent is a cryptocurrency and blockchain education platform that's bridging the gap between the curious newcomers who are just discovering the space and the thought leaders who are shaping its future. All opinions expressed by Richard Carthon, the CryptoCurrent team, and their guests on this show are exclusively their own opinions. This show and any other CryptoCurrent production is exclusively for informational purposes. 